Today, Multnomah County issuing a statement strongly recommending masks for everyone inside public places like stores and gyms, but did stop short of making this an order. Our Lisa Balick looking into this and what it means, and she joins us live tonight from downtown Portland. Lisa, we're kind of going backwards here. Uh, yeah, exactly. In fact, though, a lot of places like the county buildings and here at Portland State University never dropped the mask requirement for going inside their buildings. But you're going to see a lot more businesses putting up these kind of signs as COVID is attacking once again. We are asking folks to mask up indoors regardless of your vaccination status. COVID numbers are climbing. In Multnomah County, where 74% of adults are vaccinated, there was still more than a 50% increase in new COVID cases last week, much of it from the highly contagious Delta variant. And we have a window of opportunity to slow that down and reduce, like I said, spread, hospitalization, and death. The mask, even for those who are vaccinated, is to protect others from breakthrough cases, people who get it despite being vaccinated, but also to increase the likelihood those who are not vaccinated are covered up. When you're out in a uh, mixed public crowd, you don't know who's vaccinated and who isn't. Um, so we're, we're, you know, putting our health in each other's hands. So we're asking folks to do the right thing again and um, mask up. I wanted to know why not require instead of just strongly recommend masks for all indoors. The county says it doesn't have the enforcement ability, but it's still an option. Plenty of businesses, though, already have masks recommended signs and those who wear them hope now more will inside public places. I think it's wise. So I do it, but I could understand how people are tired of it, too. I think people will start more going back to it. I hope, but I, I don't think so. Just like the people that don't want, don't want to get a shot, I think they're all entrenched. I found out the county is working with Portland and other school districts to decide whether masks will again be a required back to school item. It's itchy and I get this from it, but I'm fine with it. And I understand why you have to wear them to protect you from COVID. Yeah, exactly why. Now, the governor is keeping an eye on the COVID cases and the increase, keeping a closer eye, especially on the hospitalizations. The idea of bringing back a statewide mask. Live in downtown Portland, Lisa Bale at Coin 6 News.